Hello, my name is Emma Watson, playing the part of Mighty Ranger. What strange habit did Emma Watson have to shake very early in her career playing Hermione Granger? Today, we're taking a look behind the scenes and catching up on all the best blooper moments from Watson. In what ways was she exactly like her character on screen? Which actor did she accidentally slap too hard? Okay, and action! Emma Watson was brand new to the acting scene, so she had to learn some rules of film. Like the fact that it's not best to mouth along with your co-star's lines as they're saying them. Something doesn't make sense. If all Snape wants is the Sorcerer's Stone. Watson had to be reminded repeatedly by the director while filming. Cut! Emma, you're doing it again. You're, you're, mouthing, you're mouthing dance lines. She was almost doing too good of a job, knowing all the lines of every scene she was in. The Harry Potter cast, of course, grew to be extremely close over the years. But as we can see from behind-the-scenes footage of the very first film, they were getting friendly right away. Was this game of slaps between Felton and Watson the moment that the Hermione Granger actress started to develop her crush? Others recognized her competitive edge, especially Radcliffe. She will not lose! <laughs> Getting just the right fit for Hermione Granger's prominent teeth took some time. An adorable young Emma Watson shows off all the different sorts behind the scenes. Her natural leadership was already budding when she was young, always ready with an answer. What, uh, what test? Teeth test. Teeth test. <laughs> when she wasn't busy correcting the boys mispronouncing spells, Watson was telling wild tales to her cast and crewmates. She really is so much like her character, even if she tried to deny it when she was younger. This particular day, she was feeling the vampire stories. An appropriate bit of foreshadowing since Robert Pattinson did join the cast as Cedric Diggory a few years later, just before his own vampire days. I am the great vampire. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Getting the tone just right can be difficult when working with such young actors, but this crew had total pros. The child performers were often able to just pick up and take direction without too much difficulty, bringing magic to the screen and all the while laughing between takes. Emma Watson had always wanted to be an actor, and it showed. While some performers may scribble gibberish or nonsense when they have to pretend to be writing in a book, Watson was really going method with her acting. She filled her notebook writing an almost diary of what was happening on set while the class scenes were happening and what she was thinking. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. It's by far one of her best lines in the entire Harry Potter series. But it didn't actually come as naturally as what we see on screen. Watson herself got caught up in the fun of it and had a hard time getting through it without corpsing at the end. Okay, shot, and board. Okay. Watson even went behind the camera to check out how the filming was working by the time the third film came around. Considering she'd been performing for the cameras for years by that point, it makes sense she'd be curious as to how it all comes together. She got to see what the frames would look like and just how extensive the process of bringing all the magic of Hogwarts to the screen was. If we've learned anything over the years, it's that Watson has quite a bit in common with her character Hermione. Can we expect anything less from the actress than questioning everything? Even when in the middle of getting directions for a scene, the actress would pipe up and clarify, always making sure she knew exactly what was going on and why. Yeah? Why is that? Because you walked to that rock. What does that have to do with the scene that we doing? We have no doubt it was a bit strange for Watson to have to slap her co-star Tom Felton. However, by this point, they'd known each other for long enough to trust each other and Felton assured the actress that they'd be alright and, in fact, encouraged her to hit him. He definitely was not expecting the full force hand of Watson across his face. Actually, originally said in the script that Hermione uh, slaps Draco. Even the actress was a bit shocked by how hard she actually hit Felton and said she had no idea what had even come over her. I feel terrible. I feel really bad. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. <laughs> Emma Watson was a teenager at the time, so it's not too much of a surprise that she was caught sneaking peeks at her phone while on set. However, the difference is, not every teenager works on a multi-million dollar set. For an actor, that phone is an absolute no-no. Emma Watson, on the phone, on set. 
The boys gave Hermione a pretty hard time for going to the Yule Ball with Victor Crumb. It looks like it finally got to Watson, who found herself flustered and flubbing lines throughout shooting this scene. Magical international cooperation to make friends on ice. Considering how intense so much of what was filmed for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire was, it's no surprise that the cast really let loose during the light and fun scenes they got to film. There was loads of dancing between takes between all the cast members. Watson was one who really went wild and made her dancing rounds with everyone from her Yule Ball date to her once upon a time real life crush, Tom Felton. Anyone who's made a movie will tell you that long days on set are absolutely brutal. The hours are exhausting, making it tricky to be able to really concentrate. It seems at times that Watson's focus was totally broken, and once she lost it, the giggles came into play. They may have been tired, but there was no shortage of fun and laughs on set. <laughs> Just because I laugh doesn't mean you have to stop. Who knew walking down the stairs could be directed so specifically? Now, don't swing your arms. Okay. It seems pretty simple, but taking a look behind the scenes, we see there are a whole lot of factors that go into it. Watson evidently had some trouble, but who can blame her with how many people are silently and intently watching her walk? Even with all that pressure, she managed to exhibit total grace in the film. You're, you're coming on as a perfectly normally dressed girl and you're not. Rupert Grint may have been running a bit too intensely trying to escape the fire in the room of requirement. Poor Watson suffered when the actor fully plowed into her during one of the takes. It looks like it was a pretty rough session for Watson. Note to self, don't ever get in the way of Ron. <laughs> when Ron and Hermione finally had their big kiss, well, understandably, it was pretty awkward for both actors considering they'd grown up together like brother and sister. They both went for it, but it took a while to get a solid take without one of them breaking character too quickly. On top of it all, they had just been drenched with a wave of water indoors, so it was all just a very uncomfortable experience. That was great, we got it. <laughs> Watson definitely earned the nickname Giggles. This scene isn't exactly a laugh riot, but for the Hermione Granger actress, it was just enough to put her into a fit. To be fair, after hearing that much slurping, we probably would have been giggling too. Red card Emma Watson was <laughs> also <laughs> Nagini was fierce in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Watson's real-time fear on set definitely amped up her acting. The crew had a bit of fun with this one, yelling about snakes on set to prompt her reactions. Snake! 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 Watson did not hold back when she needed to snatch Harry's hair in the sixth film. The actress wasn't so careful though, since she actually plucked some of Radcliffe's locks. After all they'd been through, we're not too surprised that Hermione might have wanted to just get on with it and go. Watching Emma Watson grow up over the years is adorable. Her talent is also wicked impressive. We loved seeing what a bright spirit she was to work with behind the camera, as if we didn't already love her. Which was your favorite blooper?